Hey, it's Brian Rogers, and today I want to talk to you about how we deconstructed our original rub recipes to make them more plant-based. A lot of people always say, Brian, aren't all rubs plant-based? And aren't what's different? Are you just calling them plant-based? Did you actually do something different? We actually did. If you'll notice, um, you can go and look at the ingredients of our website, but I want to talk about our all-purpose competition rub. This is a rub I'm extremely proud of. One of the things about all of our rubs on our website is um, I actually, in addition to losing weight, I actually had severe hypertension. Um, I was extremely hypertensive. I had two hypertensive emergencies over the past four years, extremely high blood pressure, and one of the things I had to do was cut salt out of my diet. I had to almost completely eliminate salt. And if you know Kansas City rubs, the number one ingredient in most rubs is salt. None of the uh, rubs that we have on our website, when I redid all of our rubs, have salt. They're all salt-free ingredients. So you won't find any salt in any of our rubs, which is amazing on the surface that I was able to make plant-based barbecue rubs taste good without salt. But as I got better, um, I realized that I could put some more salt back in my diet, and we created our line of smoked salt. So these are, we have smoked cherry wood, we have smoked citrus salt, we have smoked applewood salt, and we have smoked hickory salt. Um, feel free to try those out. So you can now add some salt back into your rubs. We didn't want to put it into our rubs exactly. We wanted to do a, uh, allow you to add as much or as little salt as you'd like. So after you rub your meat, you can add a little salt to it. But then the third thing we had to add back in was sugar. There's no sugar in any of our rubs either, which is unheard of. In addition to salt, most barbecue rubs on the market today, the second ingredient in them is brown sugar or highly processed sugar. So what we did was we came up with the most unrefined sugar we could find, which is demerara sugar. And it does kind of add a molassesy flavor uh, to all your rubs. So once you put rub on your meat or on your um, plant-based um, mains, whatever you're going to be using it with, then you add your sugar back into it. So again, you add your rub, you add your sugar, you add your salt, and you've got a total package of plant-based barbecue goodness. So um, that's why we did what we did with our salts, uh, with our rubs, and with our sauces. So we'll see you on another video. Hit the subscribe button right now and subscribe to the Fool's Gold Plant-Based Barbecue Show. And I'll be seeing you soon on some future videos.